optimism drives me. If you can come to the realisation that it really is about travelling hopefully and not necessarily about arriving at your destination, then that totally changes the texture of your life on a day-to-day -day basis. The pool that is, you know, a few minutes away is my spiritual home probably. It's just the place that I go to to reflect and do some exercise and get ready for the day. I'm Remo Dufresne. I live in Sydney in Bondi. I'm a creative strategist, a general thinker, never quite know what to call myself. When I returned to Sydney in the mid to late 80s, I remember coming to Bondi and thinking, oh my god, this is a Nirvana. Thank you. Thank you. So I had something called the Remo General Store in the late 80s and early 90s. It turned out to be quite a big life. One complete with many, many ups and many, many downs. I've never lost hope. As long as you retain hope, I think failure is great because it just teaches you and you just do it better the next time. TEDx Sydney picked up a huge amount of momentum very quickly and it's become now the gold standard globally um, for TEDx events and we're at the Sydney Opera House and the Concert Hall. A standout wasn't so much a talk, it was partly a talk performance. It was Tom Thumb, the beatbox guy. <laughs> It is the most viewed TEDx talk of all time globally. Doing good work is its own reward. I've always been quite driven by that desire to entertain and make people laugh and make people think. That's <laughs> just kind of part of who I am. The General Thinking Network is like LinkedIn for cool people. I think we're up to about 50 or 60 countries and that gives me joy. I mean, the joy that I get from knowing that I can live in Bondi and swim in the ocean every day and yet be involved in something which is truly global at the same time. This book that I've just written, it's kind of, let me connect all of these dots and now what does that set me up for moving forward? So I don't feel like I'm finished by any stretch of the imagination. I feel like, in fact, I'm always just about to begin. <laughs>